All right, everyone. We are going to go ahead and get started. So, um, good evening. Uh, my name is Jeremy Keller, and I serve as the program manager for leadership within the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership. And I would like to welcome you all to the 35th Annual Student Leadership Awards. Um, we are very pleased you're able to join us, um, despite the fact that we had to make adjustments and are now doing this in a remote setting. Um, but as people trickle in, we'll let them join in when they can. Um, but first, I'd like to recognize and welcome some key people who I know are here with us today. Um, I know I'd first like to recognize, recognize Wright State President uh, Dr. Susan Edwards, um, our provo Provost Lehman, um, and the deans of our colleges. So uh, Dean uh, Keprel, Dean uh, Karen, Ringling, uh, Ulrich, Trainor and and uh, who else? Do do and English. Um, uh, I'd like to thank all of them that are here with us today. Um, additionally, I'd like to give a, a thanks to the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership and all of our staff who have helped make today possible. Um, I would also like to thank those who volunteered their time to sit in on the different leadership board committees. Um, their commitment to seeing student leaders grow and develop is at the center of their characters. And I just want to wholeheartedly thank you for your time um, to help us judge these awards this year. The Student Leadership Awards recognize um, ex exceptional achievements and accomplishments by members of the Wright State University community who demonstrate a commitment to student engagement in a variety of forms. This year, we had over 170 nominations for individuals and organizations come through recognizing student leaders, organizations, and the Wright State community members. Each nominee has made a significant impact on student life and on behalf of the student involvement and leadership team, I'd like to personally thank each and every one of you for your contributions. As we go through the program tonight, I would encourage you all to use the chat function so that you can continue to, uh, um, so that you may continue to celebrate one another's successes and achievements and overall uh, come together in unity as we celebrate this past year. It is with great pleasure that I'd like to present to you the eighth president of Wright State University, Dr. Susan Edwards. Dr. Edwards joined us at Wright State in 2018 as the executive vice president for academic affairs and as provost. She was drawn to Wright State because of the university's core values and dedication to students. She is proud of how Wright State serves its students and the region and is honored and humbled to have served the university and its partners now as president. She took over the role as president this past January. And for during her presidency, Dr. Edwards is focusing on recruitment, retention, and relationships. She is personally committed to student success, especially in terms of retention, ex experiential learning, and high quality classroom educations. Dr. Edwards is committed to fostering a welcome, welcoming and inclusive campus for students, faculty, and staff. Please join me in welcoming President Susan Edwards. Hi, everyone. It's so great to see you all. I hope that uh, you're staying fit and well and uh, you know, keeping up with everything. So I do miss you all terribly. I tell everybody that every every time I come on to my web chats, but it's because it's the truth. So, um, you know, I'm really excited that I'm actually able to be here with you. You know, we have so many amazing student leaders at Wright State and it makes me very hopeful for the future of our state uh, and our region, uh, knowing that uh, We've, we've got great leaders uh, coming uh, out of our institution. 
You know, I wanted to recognise, you know, there's been several several organisations that have been nationally recognised um, amongst you. And, you know, if I, if I individually name you, um, then I'll upset everybody. But just know that I am very well aware that you have been nationally recognised and I'm very proud of you. And, uh, you know, I think you will be recognised uh, as individuals and as organisations today because out of that, um, that group, Jeremy, I understand that quite a lot of those groups are 30, there's 30 organisations, I think, that have also been nominated tonight. So uh, 140 individuals and uh, 30 organisations. So that's pretty dang awesome. So uh, I also would be remiss of me not to recognise uh, and thank the faculty and the staff who serve tirelessly as your organisational advisors. And I know how much work that they put into it and I know that you give a lot in return. So thank you very much to our faculty and staff that uh, help our students achieve their goals. I really appreciate that. I also wanted to sort of recognise every member of all of these student organisations. While we recognise tonight um, you know, some key individuals, I want you to all know that you all are leaders. You are all participating and providing your time and talents to not only our community in terms of service, but also in terms of uh, philanthropy. But most of all, you serve each other, you support each other, you care for each other, you have empathy and compassion. And you do truly exemplify what I think are key characteristics in leaders, and that is being compassionate, empathetic, and civil civic minded. And I am very, very proud of every single one of you. Um, you know, th tonight we celebrate, you know, a few of you, but just know that I celebrate every one of you every day. So congratulations uh, to everyone. Thank you for everything that you do, not only for Wright State, but for each other and our community. And I could not be more proud to be uh, here to serve you as your leader uh, as we move forward. So thank you very, very much and good luck. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Debbie Lamp and I am the Associate Director in Student Involvement and Leadership. At this time, I'd like to begin the presentation of Student Organization Awards. This year, we have five categories. They are Community Service, Diversity and Inclusion, Collaboration, Program of the Year, and Student Organization of the Year. We will start with our first three categories. Our first award this evening is presented to a student organization for collaboration. This group has demonstrated outstanding initiatives through a commitment to the achievement of Wright State University through their efforts. Through partnerships with Student Government Association, Wright State Administration, as well as other groups and offices on campus, this organization has been able to dedicate so many resources to support African American students by creating Retain the Nine initiative, which was which has focused on providing resources and support for these students. This group was seen throughout the year volunteering and providing different opportunities for campus community, for the campus community for which they serve. Without the efforts of this group, their collaborators and their collaborators, this initiative would not have been possible. Please join me in congratulating Black Men on the Move as this year's Collaboration Award winner. And just so you guys know, shaking your hands like this is how deaf people, um, they, they clap because they can't hear this. <laughs> the next award is presented to an organization that has demonstrated commitment to community service. This organization has helped to raise money in order to fund cancer research, outreach and education programs and make an impact on our local community. This organization is a model for organizations to do service work and continues to empower its members to grow as leaders. Despite having to cancel their largest fundraising event due to the COVID-19 
outbreak, the organization was still able to raise over $6,000 for campus, or sorry, can cancer research and education programs. It is my pleasure to present Relay for Life as this year's Community Service Award winner. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is Gina Kucher, and I serve as the Program Director for Fraternity and Sorority Life within the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership. The next award is presented to an organization that has demonstrated a commitment to diversity and inclusion on campus. This group has worked extremely hard to make diversity and inclusion a focal point within their organization by teaching their sport to anyone who comes through the door. Their outreach includes, in particular, members of the LGBT, LGBTQ plus community and students with physical disabilities. They have an adapted version of their sport that they practice on Tuesdays and have a tournament event during the spring. The group accommodates various needs so that anyone is able to participate, working with equipment to best support all students. They also are able to do mixed tournaments in order to best allow trans members to not have to out themselves and still enjoy the sport. It is our honor to present Fencing Club with this year's Diversity and Inclusion Award. At this time, I'd like to begin the presentation of awards for individuals. The first individual award for this evening is the Student Supporter of the Year Award. This award is being given to a member of the Wright State community who has gone above and beyond by working collaboratively with students, campus leaders, offices, and or departments to move student life forward at Wright State University. This person is near and dear to my heart, is someone who students can rely on no matter what, they constantly are going above and beyond to serve students here at Wright State. Along with their actual role, this person has served on numerous committees, presented to students on a large and small scale, and even volunteered to be the facilita a facilitator at our 2019 Take Flight Leadership Retreat. A nominator wrote that this person advocates for students on a daily basis while working with them to overcome issues and obstacles in their way of success academically and personally. They always bring positivity into the room and they always look for the silver lining wherever possible. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Student Supporter of the Year, Destiny Biesemeyer. Eric, you're muted. Well, I said some really great things while I was muted. Now I've got to remember what they were. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, really glad to be here tonight. Excited to see all of you again. Uh, it's been so weird looking at people through little bitty squares for the last two weeks. Um, but I, I'm, I'm glad that we're together once again, even if it is only for a short time. And for those of you that don't know me, I'm Eric Corbett. I'm the director of the Student Union Activities and Recreation. And now I'm here to present the second individual award, Advisor of the Year. This award is presented to a student organization advisor who has been a role model, student support resource, and a guiding individual for student leadership. This year's recipient far exceeds typical advisor expectations. In addition to teaching and developing the skills necessary to compete in the sport club, this advisor and coach mentors his students on life skills as well, emphasizing the importance of teamwork, commitment, dedication, service and communication. I said that, yeah. This advisor is not a full-time employee for Wright State. In spite of being employed elsewhere, he pro prioritizes time with students and makes certain that they are becoming well-rounded. In the competitive arena, he has led the men's and women's club bowling teams to become fixtures in the national rankings and led the women's club team to the Collegiate Club National Championship in 2019. So to the advisor of the year, I thank you for all that you've done the past 14 years and congratulate my friend, 
and club bowling advisor and coach Jeff Fleck, this year's advisor of the year. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Is Jeff on here? I'm on here, man. Thank you. <laughs> love um, you, brother. Love you too, man. Love you guys all. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, again, congratulations, Jeff. Now we're going to move on to the next award, which is Distinguished Graduate Student Leader. This award is presented to a specific graduate student who has shown exemplary leadership qualities over the last academic year. This year's award recipient cut their leadership teeth as an undergraduate here at Wright State. Now, as a graduate student, they've stepped up during the summer before their contract actually started to help develop curriculum and program materials for two of our most important student leadership programs, that's Take Flight and Raider Camp. They have also taken initiative to develop further leadership opportunities, including the Chew on This Leadership Lunch Discussion, which will be done online this month. Uh, it also coincided with their service as president of Miracle Makers, during which she led the organization to one of their most successful rate -thon events ever. So please join me in congratulating Lauren McGregor as our distinguished graduate student leadership leader. Good evening, everyone. My name is Courtney Mullins, and I serve as the program manager for student organizations within the Office for Student Involvement and Leadership. The Emerging Leader Award recognizes undergraduate students who have shown leadership potential and dedication to involvement in campus life and who have demonstrated initiative, motivation, and potential for student leadership at Wright State University. We have multiple recipients, and this year we are honored to we are pleased to honor <laughs> Ben Hollinger, Mackenzie Hofferlin, Jacob O'Connor, Sydney McGilton, Dylan Collison, Natalie Cunningham, Roxanne Rostner, Dylan Hall, Lauren Harris, and Hunter McCubbins. Yay! And now to announce the Distinguished Emerging Leader Award. This year's winner has shown exemplary leadership qualities through their involvement in the Guardian Media Group. Joining the Guardian in August with minimal experience in media or reporting, this leader has since been recognized by the Ohio News Media Association for her work and storytelling in media coverage. One nominator wrote, they come in every day with a go-getter attitude, a positive outlook, and a great sense of humor that spread to everyone they work with. Congratulations to this year's distinguished emerging leader, Natalie Cunningham. Our next individual leadership awards, the Established Student Leader Awards, recognizes students who strive for creating a vision for their organization while establishing personal and professional goals for themselves. We once again have multiple recipients, and this year we are pleased to honor Jacob Jones, Sabrina D'Alessandro, Allison Harbaugh, Logan Rex, Cody Pack, Deshanae Moore, Dorian Buford, Leah Dryden, Jeffrey Sheehy, and Sean McGraw. Thank you guys so much. And now to announce the Distinguished Established Student Leader this year. This student has gone above and beyond, not only for their organization, but for the promotion of Wright State's mission. This person has served as an ambassador and senator for their college and has worked, to, uh, and has worked tirelessly on the promotion of STEM, of the STEM fields in their community. This student has been able to balance their schooling, their involvement in organizations, as well as log over 500 volunteer hours out in the community. One of their nominators wrote, this person frequently goes above and beyond the call of duty in order to help those around her succeed. 
They have been a vital part of everything in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Distinguished Established Student Leader, Sabrina D'Alessandro. The third individual award is the Advanced Student Leader Award, and it recognizes students who have consistently supported their organization's programs and initiatives, mentored future student leaders while continuing to develop their own leadership competencies. We have multiple recipients, and this year we are pleased to honor Nathan Price, Kara Coombs, Riley Corbett, Alexis Hobbs, Shadia Kazem, Riley Plotner, Kirsten Bowen, Aaron Brodigam, Samantha Baxter, and Sydney Gower. The Distinguished Advanced Student Leader Award recipient is involved in numerous student organizations and offices on campuses, on campus, but not limited to admissions, orientation, alumni relations, and 67 Society. This student has also served as the undergraduate trustee on Wright State's Foundation Board. This student has worked tirelessly establishing Wright State traditions that will continue moving forward. These initiatives include Wright Day to Give, Raider Roundup, and Reveal the Seal. This student has created new events on campus, such as the Student Donor Dessert Reception, this leader has also reached out and collaborated with new organizations and offices and created new ways to recognize students on campus. Congratulations to this year's Distinguished Advanced Student Leader Award winner, Erin Brodigan. Our next award is the Student Organization Program of the Year. The winning program is given to a student organization that has sponsored a creative, effective, and impactful on-campus program that was open to the entire student body, promoting an educational and social experience while building campus community in a fun and innovative manner. This program is now going on its eighth year, becoming a staple event that many look forward to attending. The program connects the Wright State community with kids in need, working with the Dayton Children's Hospital in order to raise funds to help with vital work and services done there. For the 2019 event, this organization collaborated with other organizations such as UAB, student government, cheer and dance teams, and others in order to make this year's program a bigger success than in the past. At the end, the program raised over $58,000 for the cheer Children's Miracle Network and the organization looks forward to repeating its success next school year. It is my pleasure to announce that Miracle Makers Program Raiderthon is the recipient of the 2020 Program of the Year Award. Our next award is Student Organization of the Year. This award is presented to an organization that offer exemplary programming created in and developed partnerships or collaborations and contributed positively to the Wright State campus community. This outstanding organization has been one that continues to give back both in the local community and around the world. The projects that members are able to take part of in these settings are not only changing the members' outlooks and development as leaders, but making an impact on the lives in those communities. From developing and create a hand washing station in Uganda to volunteering in local areas to develop elevated and wheelchair accessible observation decks. This organization and its members truly embody the right state spirit of community. While smaller compared to other organizations on campus, its members are dedicated to bettering the organizations and continuing to make a difference to those in need. As the nominator stated, they are dedicated to seeing projects carried through and continually providing aid when needed. The community means everything to them and they will never stop helping, praise or not. Therefore, the 2020 Student, or the, of, student Organization of the Year is Engineers Without Borders. Congratulations.
All right. Well, congratulations to all the, the individuals and the organizations that have won thus far. And again, to all the folks that were nominated, um, you know, just getting nominated for this is a tremendous honor. And unfortunately, we can't recognize everyone um, that you're, you're all a fantastic bunch of students and student organizations. I have the pleasure of presenting our final awards of the evening, the Senior Leader Awards. The Senior Leader Award is open to any student who is graduating at the end of spring or graduated this past fall. It has shown exemplary leadership qualities over the last academic year through student organizations, service to the community, scholarship and or commitment to the advancement of the mission and goals of Wright State University. For the senior leaders, I'm gonna share a few things about each one of you. Our first award winner is a geography major with plans to continue his education by pursuing a master's degree. He has been involved in many things here at Wright State, including Miracle Makers, 67th Society, Intramural Sports, and has served as a take flight team leader. He's also working to start a bomb ball club, a fairly new game that's been popular here on campus, especially among our residential students. This leader has also been a consistent face during summer orientation, helping start new Raiders on the road to success. One nominator wrote, his positive attitude is infectious to those around him, and he is always a leader that can be relied on. Congratulations to our first senior leader award winner, Milo Simpson. Way to go, Milo. It's funny, I was trying to watch the chat and see how many people were guessing before we actually got to it. That'll be a fun game to play the rest of the way through. All right, like most of our award winners tonight, our second senior leader has been involved here at Wright State in a variety of ways. This year, she exemplified commitment as the editor in chief of the WSU Guardian, and I gave that one away helping cover the various news and events that occur around campus and in the Dayton area. Additionally, she has been an active member of the 67th Society, Omicron Delta Kappa, and the Tennis Club. She gives her all to make WSU a better campus community. The senior leader plans to continue her journalism work after graduation. Congratulations to senior leader, Sarah, leader, Sarah Kavanagh. All right, that's two down. The third winner is president of Alpha Phi Omega, a proud member of Alpha Sigma Phi, and a valuable contributor to the residence life and housing team as a resident assistant. He has given his time graciously to serve on the Woods Community Board, uh, the Standards Board for Alpha Sigma Phi, and on the Programming Committee for CACUR when we hosted the conference in 2018. <laughs> Additionally, this student is a constant presence in the student union working with the event services team, and you, you might even see him down at the welcome desk from time to time. Uh, when asked what their biggest impact on campus was, the senior stated that while people may forget what the programs were about, they wouldn't forget how they felt a sense of belonging that I was able to help create for them. After graduation, he will be serving as a graduate hall director at Eastern Michigan University while continuing his education. So please congratulate Petey Sanchez for senior award. Jump in. All right. Our next winner has had their fair share of leadership experiences during their time at Wright State. They are an active member of the College of Liberal Arts Dean Student Advisory Board and a leader within the award-winning Model UN team. Often they can be found working with the culture and identity centers, particularly with the LGBTQ plus affairs as their training coordinator. They have participated in the Unicorn Mentor Program and have served on over 20 Our Voice panels. They hope that they have demonstrated to other students how to stand up for themselves and accomplish their goals when faced with adversity. Congratulations to B. Lenz, Senior Award winner. Our fifth winner is not only known as a leader, but as a go-to person when you need something done. They have been involved with student government since their first semester on campus and have filled a variety of roles, most recently as Director of Outreach and Collaboration. This leader also joined Figma Psi Epsilon in his first semester and has served as Challenge Coordinator and on the Executive Board. In addition, he's been an active participant in Take Flight, been inducted into Omicron Delta Kappa, and has served as a President's Ambassador. After graduation, he plans to work at Sigma Phi Epsilon Headquarters as a Regional Director and then to attend law school. So congratulations, Austin Rex, for being Senior Leader Award winner. Halfway done.
Our next senior leader is a prime example of an involved leader on campus. They have been a part of student government, surround sound show choir, Rod Sohan College of Business Dean Student Advisory Board, Take Flight Team Leader, Miracle Makers, Fraternity Authority Council, and Delta Zeta, just to name a few. In each position, this leader always puts her best foot forward and empowers others to ensure that her programs or organizations are moving in the right direction and are promoting appropriate change on campus. Nominator said that her positive point of view always encouraged others to see the silver linings, even when things didn't go as planned. Please congratulate Senior Leader Award winner, Beth Metcalf. Our seventh winner had this to say about leadership. It's not easy to lead. You risk alienation from others for going against the status quo. You hold yourself to a higher standard and help others even when you need help yourself. But to see the impact you can have on others makes it worthwhile. This senior leader has done that through his involvement at Wright State as a member of the Association of Black Business Students, a coach with the Professional Business Institute, and as president of his fraternity, the Alpha Beta Mu chapter of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. In each role, he strived to push others to do great things and leave the organization better off at his exit. Please join me in recognizing Tyler Willis as Senior Leader Award winner. Our next senior leader is a role model for others here on campus and oftentimes for different reasons. The senior leader has been a resident assistant, served as a peer mentor for UBC classes, a member of the Honors Community Council, a President's Ambassador, a sister in Kappa Delta, and held one of the co-president roles in this, this year for Omicron Delta Kappa. One nominator wrote, she has proven herself to be an amazing leader during her time at Wright State. She navigated making her organizations better, sets them up for continued success even once she graduates. Upon graduation, she plans to pursue a master's degree in student affairs and hopes to continue working with residence life and housing. Please recognize Markayla Clayton, Senior Award winner. Our ninth Senior Award winner has seen her leadership skills grow greatly through involvement with student organizations. She's held roles within her sorority, Kappa Delta, 67 Society, and Panhellenic Council. However, her biggest leadership impact has been within the University Activities Board. During her tenure with UAB, she has held several director roles, each overseeing a major campus event such as April Craze, Fall Fest, and homecoming activities. These experiences led her to become president of UAB this year and allowed her to set the organization up for continued success. When asked how experiences impacted her, she responded that, these opportunities have given me so much that I hope I can give back to make an impact on the future and current Raiders. Congratulations to our ninth senior leader, Kendra Tebow. Our 10th and final senior award winner always wanted to make a difference on campus, whether as an individual or within an organization. He has been a member of Global Public Health Brigades, Omicron Delta Kappa, and Sigma Phi Epsilon, where he served for two years, served for two years as president. This year, he also served as president of Fraternity and Sorority Council. This senior hopes that future leaders seek out all the opportunities Wright State has to offer to make change on campus and leave their impact, stating great moments arise from great opportunities. Congratulations to our last Senior Leader Award winner, Bentley Pete. All right. And now I would like to present our most prestigious award, the Distinguished Senior Leader Award. Well, all our senior leaders are extraordinary and, and, and all the leaders that we've recognized tonight, uh, whether an individual or organization, one student stands out this year. Our distinguished senior leader epitomizes the values of this university by consistently striving for excellence. This student has shown support and dedication to students and contributed all over campus. In addition to some of the things that I shared above, this leader has participated on the Take Flight team and has been a member of ODK. While her involvement in other organizations have been has been stellar, this senior leader, leader has had their biggest influence within the organization where she currently serves as president or editor-in-chief. The other members of the organization have continued to grow both personally and professionally while under her leadership. 
One nominator wrote, she has worked tirelessly during some very difficult times to make the WSU Guardian an excellent organization. She's an excellent journalist and a fantastic student leader. Congratulations, Sarah Cavender, this year's Distinguished Student Leader Award winner. So congratulations, I need to, I need to put you. Congratulations to all of our nominees and award winners this year. I'd like to take one last opportunity to thank each and every student, faculty, and or staff member who has helped Wright State University to be as, bright, as vibrant and active this past year. These awards are all because of you. For our award recipients this year, we are in the process of figuring out how you will be able to get your physical trophy certificate award. Um, please be on the lookout for an email from our office in the near future to figure out our bet once we've just figured out the best way in order for you to receive that your award. We would love to encourage all of you to to post on your various social media accounts about what it means to be a leader on campus and what it's meant to you and what messages of support that you have received either from your organizations or your advisors or faculty and staff members um, during this time that we have been away from campus. Um, go ahead and use the hashtag right leaders and so that we can follow up and share those later on this semester. Make sure you're following um, the Student Involvement and Leadership social media uh, accounts as we are going to be continuing working with um, and, and showcasing all of our student leaders over the next couple of weeks. Also, make sure to check out all the other various online activities that are going on from Campus Rec's weekly um, at-home workouts to UAB trivia that starts in five minutes over on Twitch. Thank you all again for joining us for a wonderful, on this wonderful occasion as we can celebrate the amazing successes of all of our students and all of their accomplishments. I can't wait to celebrate with you next year, hopefully in person, um, but next year nonetheless. Thank you all, have a great night. I'm going to leave this meeting space and open for those who want to stick around and chat for a little bit. Um, but other than that, have a great night everybody. You guys are fantastic.